Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today I'm going to be cleaning and decorating my master bedroom, kitchen, and master bathroom for Christmas. The first thing that I did in the master bedroom was put my clean clothes away and then I put on this comfy gray blanket that I got from Target. I actually got this last year but I checked and they do have it this year. It's super warm and soft and cozy. Today's video is in collaboration with Kristen Lee. I'm going to link her video in the description below, so don't forget to check it out after you're done watching this video. She is a mom of four and she posts cleaning content, mommy related videos, and I'm sure that you will absolutely love her channel. After getting the blanket situated, I put the pillows on the bed. I got the red and white pillow from Target and I love the little Christmas scene on it. I think it's adorable and I'm going for pops of red with my Christmas decorations and this was the perfect fit. Next, I placed this wooden bench at the foot of the bed. I actually got this at a craft festival this fall, and sorry, I'm talking to my husband in this video, so I look like a total weirdo, but please ignore that. I put this white throw at the very foot of the bed. I also got this at Target last year, and I think that it just looks cozy and warm. And on top of this, I put um, a white tray. I got this white tray from at home in the fall time, and I just plan to decorate it with some Christmas accents. At the foot of our bed, I put a bin from Kirkland's and inside the bin, a blanket from Rural King. My husband actually made our headboard. I saw a picture on Pinterest that I really liked and we bought a cheap bed frame on Amazon and then he DIY'd the headboard and I painted it with some chalk paint. We ended up saving a ton of money and I think he did an amazing job and I think it looks perfect and beautiful and Christmassy. After this, I moved into my master bathroom and it was a disaster zone. <laughs> that is not a lie. So the first thing that I did was pick everything up and get everything off the counters and pick everything up off the floor and put anything away that I could. After clearing everything off, I used this method cleaner to wipe down all of my sinks and countertops. After my countertops were clean, I added my Christmas decorations. The first one was a vase and I filled it with some potpourri in the bottom and some cranberry picks that my grandma gave me. Thank you, Graham. Then I added some greenery and I just cut it to size to fit in between our sinks. And finally, I added a Bath & Body Works Christmas scented candle in this Christmas holder. And I actually got the Christmas holder this year and I reviewed it in a product haul I got from Bath & Body Works. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below. The scent of the candle is Spiced Apple Toddy. I'm not sure if they have that one this year. I know that I got it last year, but it made my bathroom smell like Christmas and it is amazing. The final thing that I added on my counter space was a clean white hand towel. I love white hand towels. They're super difficult to keep clean, but I think they're perfect, especially around the holidays. The final Christmas touch I added in my bathroom was a plaid shower curtain. And does anyone else hate putting up shower curtains? I feel like it, my arms get exhausted, but our normal shower curtain was due for a wash anyway. This color might be a little bit too dark for my normal taste, but for a cozy Christmas feel, I do really like it. Normally I have white in here, but like I said, that one was due for a wash, so it was perfect timing to change it out for Christmas. After I was done with my bathroom, I moved on to my kitchen. So the first thing that I had to do, of course, was clear off my countertops so that I could have a free space for decorating. My husband said that he was absolutely famished while I was trying to film this video, but as you can see, he went over to the fridge and didn't even get anything out. Isn't that just typical? After everything was cleared off, I cleaned the countertops with my Mrs. Meyer spray. And guys, I have to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Christmas holiday scents. I love the fall ones, but I don't really like the pine and I don't really like the peppermint. So I guess I'm going to have to wait until spring or whenever it is they launch some new fragrances. Until that time, I am going to use my honeysuckle variety.
So next I started with the decorating and I did have my husband help me. I used a little bit of ribbon left over from decorating my tree. I will have a tree decorating video coming out this week, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. And I got this wreath from at home and I wanted the wreath to hang from my window in the kitchen. So we just tied um, the ribbon around the wreath and then put a little bit of the ribbon outside of the window and close the window. And I love the cotton look in my kitchen because I'm like the farmhouse type of style. And I think it turned out really well. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. I had to climb up on the countertops, but it's fine. It still turned out looking pretty cute. Next, I hung some Christmas hand towels from my oven and also from my dishwasher. I got these at Target. Target is my absolute favorite place to get hand towels and they're also cheap. I got these in the dollar section and they were $3. I also have this Christmas tree wax melter in the kitchen. And side note, my husband DIY'd our backsplash recently and I love how it turned out. Beside our sink, I put these little Christmas trees. These also came from Target and they were $3. I like the little boxes that they're in and I think they're the perfect size to go right beside the sink. So this was the final result of my kitchen decorations. I did decorate my coffee station area in my previous Christmas cleaning video, so I will be sure to link that below if you're interested. And thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.